Is he still in there? No, they've taken him to the mortuary. Does that mean I can see him then? I'm afraid they've got to do a post-mortem first. Can we leave these here? Yeah, of course. You do it. Go with him then. I'm all right. Sure. Come on. Let's get you away from here. Right. I don't have anyone to help me now. Hey, you're silly. What about your brother? I don't have anyone. <laughs> At about 9.48 last night, a 16-year-old male was shot and killed in this playing area behind me. We're appealing for witnesses. So if anybody thinks... When can I see him? I have to find out. Don't miss me around. You promised me I could see him. You can. Of course you can. But I uh, need to set it up first. I'm his mother, you promised me. I know. Are you any closer to finding out who did this? Any progress we make, I will let you know straight away. I need some time by myself. Of course. Uh, well, you got my number, OK? If you need anything, anything at all. Sir, you know Commander Kennedy's back in the building, don't you? She only left three hours ago. Didn't she ever sleep? Apparently not. She want to know about morale. What's your take on it? I'd say it was picking up. Why? Well, CID had a moan about uniform and Joe threw it straight back at them. They like it when someone sticks up for him, sir. Commander? Oh, Jack. I saw your appeal for witnesses. It was more impromptu than a proper appeal. You know, I saw the cameras were there and... No, don't apologise. Just organise a proper one. You and I will attend, along with the detective on the ground and a representative of the family. For the press? No, for the community. Mum. Oh, um, how's the morale problem? There's nothing to report. What that needs is time. So we're canvassing these flats, and when the car was moved, we found drugs, about 40 small bags of skunk here. Good crime scene management. No direct witnesses, but names thrown up at the cordon gave us two suspects, both arrested and bail last night. Devon Marshall, Gerard Atkins. Yeah. The dealer, the bloke who robs dealers, and the victim. Any of those two have the firearm? We found a handgun in the bed that Atkins slept in, but it wasn't his residence and the weapon itself can't fire. Right, so it wasn't a murder weapon? No, nor can it be tied to Atkins, which is why he was bailed. OK. Anything from family liaison? PC Taylor's been told that the victim was a good kid, good student, didn't run with the pack. But, uh, But you have doubts. Well, Devon Marshall is a low-level dealer. This park's got a reputation, you know. What was this kid doing there? I think he just went to buy drugs and something went horribly wrong. OK. Right, well, you two and Max stick with that scenario for the time being. Terry, keep an eye on Atkins. There still are suspects. I want to know what they do and where they go. Thanks, Joe. We'll be with you in a minute. Mickey, you keeping quiet about Jasmine? What's to say? You know what's to say. Go. Ma 
I think we have a juvenile informant. Do we? How juvenile? Young, Governor. Very young. 16 and a very young 16. Not an eyewitness, but she gave us Devin Marshall's movements last night and she showed him where Jeddah actually she said that All she, for a plate she of chips. She said that that's all she knew. She knows both the suspects. I reckon she can find out more if we pay her. Are you the one with the relationship? I wouldn't even go that far, Governor. She was at the crime scene, girl. She asked for Nicky. If you get that girl to start digging for information, you know that's going to be dangerous for her, yeah? Well, I can't say it's good. Thank you, Governor. But if, if it's all we've got, send her out. Go. Hey, let me chat to you more in a bit, yeah? That's cute. <laughs> they wheel you out to chat to the brothers during the day, yeah? Morning, Devon. And the riff is getting a bit old. You need a new one. Like you don't. We've done an appraisal of your situation, Devon. We think you need protection. Protection? As a witness to a murder. Well, we went over that. I heard shots. That's with my ears. I'm not a witness. If you're not a witness, what are you? I'm on bail, right? So we're going to need the old tape machine going before we go around on that again. So you turning us down, Devon? The only protecting I need is from you. Putting on a show for the dudes in the lower tier. Black away title, sir. Personally, I don't think there are no witnesses. How would you know? It happened in the park, in the dark, Regin. Just the perpetrators, then? And they don't talk. Like you. <laughs> Read it how you like, man. Me, I'm just happy to sit here and watch you lot chase your tails. If you've got to move, where are you going to go, eh? I don't know. You mean you don't know where to go? A bit of money might help. Don't you pay grasses? I thought you was meant to. Where did you hear that? About. I mean, there's a lot worse ways for me to make money than chatting to you. I bet I could find out all sorts. Yeah. It's the name and number of a friend of mine who runs a halfway house. I ain't staying in one of them. You don't qualify to stay in one of them, you know that? He'll help you out. He'll tell you where you can stay. He's telling me you know me. I prefer our arrangement. What arrangement, Jasmine? You don't know anything. I could find out. You don't want to get yourself into trouble over money, you know that? Oh, so there is money. Damn, Jasmine. You'll get hurt. What do you want to do yourself, eh? Now, whatever it is, now you put your mind to it and just take tiny little steps, one at a time, and you will get from here to there. What do you care? Well, you must have dreams and ambitions, everyone has. You should wake up, girl. Start by giving my friend a call, eh? Did Jeddah have a gun? Did you see Jeddah with a gun? No. But I heard that you found one. What about Devon? Devon don't like guns. You play with guns, you get shot. So what if I was to find out about a gun? What would that pay? That's not a game you want to play, Jasmine. But if I did? If you did, I'll tell you then. Mickey. Well? Yeah, she's definitely interested. What did you get? I got that. What was I meant to get? Well, did she say anything new? Devon doesn't like guns and she's never seen Jeddah with one. That's it. Well, are we trying to solve a murder here or what? We need to know what she does know, Mickey. Not what she doesn't. If the carrot doesn't get it, use the stick. What's her form? Two charges of shoplifting. Exactly. No angel. So you lean on her? I wonder about you sometimes. I really do. Bobby, isn't it? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Just needs some air. It's 
it's getting a bit much. Earlier on, when we came back from laying the flowers, I dropped your aunt off. I noticed you and your your dad by the lifts. Look, looked like you was having a bit of an argument. Yeah, that was nothing. I was just saying, um, earlier on when we came back from the park, looked like you two was having a bit of a dispute. We were just upset. Looked more like an argument. Son? No. You have to tell him. Tell me what? What? Tell him now. I saw Paul on the street last night. OK, and? And the rest. He was selling. What was he selling? Selling what? Weed. Paul was dealing it. How many? Forty, you said to me. Ten pound deals. What, 40 bags? Well, come on, show them that. We ain't keeping it, are you? Your cousin Paul was selling this? Yeah. On his own? Yeah. Well, tell him what you said about Emma. It was a one off. He needed the money for his mum. Do you recognise this? That's Paul's. That's what he had. After you bought this, what did you do? I went home on the bus. Was anyone there? I was. Um, Mr Sorrell? Gary. Gary, do you mind if I run through this with Bobby alone and you wait outside for a minute with DC Webb? Sure, thank you. It's not a problem. Okay. So, about what time did you go? Should have spoken up sooner. He's worried about the puff. So last night, what time did he get in? Eight, eight fifteen. I was watching the football. He got back in the first half. You watched the game with you? Mm. Whole game? Mm. No, I went out to get some beer. Dad went out to buy beer. Mm hmm When? Half time. Would the off us be out confirm that? Yeah. Would they need to? Well, it's just a big investigation. We need to make sure we get everything right, that's all. The information your son gave us, the family liaison officer will have to tell your sister. You may want to have a word with her first, you know? You know, Bobby's been talking about let's get him. Get who? People you let go. For what they did. Listen, vigilanteism, Mr. Soul, is a big mistake. I brought him in it. I'm you? just telling you, that's all. Yeah, and I told him. Yeah, let the police do it. It's guns. You don't mess with guns. No, you don't. Hello? Well, I'm watching Jedha like I was asked to, Sarge. No, I'm literally watching his paint dry. Okay. Jeddah hasn't moved. Well, I still think it's him. Well, if Paul's selling, Jeddah could have easily nicked his stash. Only where did we find it? Under the car that hit Devon. Devon doesn't need to rob a Mickey Mouse bit of skunk. He's up to his eyes in it. That's not about need, it's opportunity. It's not his style. Oh, that's the style. Keep it simple. The boy was robbed, Devon had the goods, we concentrate on Devon. I don't understand. Where would he get money to deal drugs? Quit in there. I owe the plumber 250. Paul said he was he was doing it for you. 
Are you telling me Paul got shot trying to make the money I owe on the crappy boiler? If you needed money, you should have asked me. Oh. 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 Here, man. Go. Give, give her a moment, yeah? Give her a moment. Who else knew that Paul had skunk on him? How did you know? He came to my college. Why was that? He knows I like a smoke. Have you said it to anyone else? I told him not to. People you know, it's okay. But there's kids down there who wouldn't take kindly to a new boy trying it. Geezer owns that car. Where is he? Geezer? Yeah, where is he? I haven't seen no geezer, mate. Oh. Max is Terry. It's 11.45. I've lost him. Drove to a garage, parked up, and went out the back. Gary sold a story about the off license pans out, but check this out. What is it? Well, it's a CCTV from Bream Lane. This is Bobby walking home. And that there is Jada Atkins' motor. Right, so what happens next here? Bobby walks on. But what if he told Atkins that Paul had skunk? Why didn't he tell us that, eh? So go ask him. I'm off to lean on Devon Marshall some more. Jedder Atkins. I know who he is. You see him last night? Yeah, on the way home. Why didn't you mention us? He's a nutter. You don't mention Jed Atkins, you avoid him. You didn't avoid him, did you? He's also a suspect in your cousin's murder. What's going on? Your son here was seen last night out with one of the suspects. Bobby. What did he want? What he always wants, to rob you. Did you tell him you bought weed off a of pool? No. You sure? Yeah. He'd have had it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No. Not Paul's. Mine, off me. So if he set out to rob you, then why didn't he? And I stuck it down my pants. <laughs> Even Jed Atkins won't stick his hands down your pants. OK. Good morning, Mr Marshall. I think I meant that about the tape recorder. <laughs> <laughs> no, Devon. No, no, no. This is just me covering myself on the offer of protection. Can't be too careful these days. We have to play by the rules, you see. You choose not to. Leaves you slightly exposed, of course. I'm sure you know what you're doing. DS Carter from Sunny Hill Police Station, talking to Devon Marshall in his flat. Devon, as a significant witness in the shooting of Paul Sorrell, I would like you to confirm that we have offered you witness protection and that you have declined. Does your smile mean you're not declining? You're shaking your head. Why is that? Turn it off. Answer the question. Turn it off. <clears throat> Why would I help you cover your ass? Why would I go on tape declining anything? So you're not declining? You know, I'm glad you keep coming round. Glad. Why is that? Because the more you come, the plainer it is to the whole world. 
that you ain't getting what you want. Stay here and keep an eye on him anyway. Sarge. What are you doing here? I lost him. Hey? Yeah, he went in the garage. He must have gone out the back. Didn't you get my message? <sighs> what is going on? I thought I told you to sit on Devon. He's here, Sarge. He's just going in now. Nine forty-eight last night. Sixteen-year-old Paul Sorrell was shot and killed on the Copthorne estate. Now, if anybody has any information, no matter how small, we'd like you to contact the major investigation team at Sun Hill. Thank you, Mr. Sorrell. My name is Gary Sorrell. I am Paul's uncle. My sister, Paul's mum, is too upset to be here today. She and the whole family are devastated by Paul's death. My nephew loved life. He was kind, he was respectful, he stayed out of trouble. His passing will leave a massive hole in all our lives. He was gunned down in the middle of this community. As Paul's uncle, I would appeal to anyone out there who knows anything to please come forward. The police know the names. Well, we need more than just names. You let them go. We act on the information that we get. Yeah, right. We tell you, but you do nothing. The names have to be linked to times and places. Witnesses need to go on record. Look, we operate within the law, and that's what you expect of us. You are the law. We can help witnesses with protection and anonymity, but without evidence, how do you expect us to make a case? Do you always rise to hecklers? But well, I respond to what's in front of me. But what's the end game here? Taking on the public or finding witnesses? You're not a political animal, Jack. That's why you didn't get my vote at your promotion panel. You know, one of the best things you've done as superintendent is to promote Sergeant Masters because she's effective in the role. And that's what you need to be. You can't just respond to what's in front of you. Show me I was wrong not to vote for you. I hope this is good news. Oh, I've got the forensic report here. There's no fibres on Devon Marshall from the victim and nothing on Jedda Atkins. No firearms residue either. Are you saying it wasn't them? I'm saying. Look, there's not a shred of forensic to connect either man to the shooting. Okay, thanks, mate. No forensics on Devon or Jedda. Right, enough pussy footing around. Go and get something out of Jasmine Harris. Now. Sergeant. I said now. Hey, Jasmine, did you ring that number that I gave you? Yeah. Did he sort you out a place to stay? I think so. Good. Now listen, about what we talked about earlier. I wasn't there, I didn't see it. No, no, not earlier inside, before that. I'm finding stuff out. Make your mind up. First you're saying I shouldn't, now you're saying I shouldn't. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And there was me thinking I wasn't wanted. Jasmine, listen to me. This has got to be like a formal arrangement, OK? You do it properly or you don't do it at all. And you protect yourself. Ain't that your job? No, it's not. It's our job to protect your anonymity. You've got to protect yourself, which means using this. You start asking too many questions, it becomes too obvious, you'll get sussed. Always keep it gossipy and keep it light, you understand? I ain't stupid. I know you're not stupid, I'm just saying. You only talk to me as well, right? How much do I get paid? Like I said about the gun, you give me information, I tell you what it's worth, you understand? <sighs> Do you like this top? Do you think it goes with my jeans? Are you winding me up? I reckon it does. And if you do too, you can buy it for me. Hey, hey, hey. Was I not clear here? This ain't a game of dressing up. 
buy it for me and I'll tell you something. What? What are you going to tell me, eh? And I need money to top up my phone. Jasmine. Jasmine. Listen to me. Before you say a word, you be sure that you've thought this through, OK? I have. What, being watched from both sides? Yep. OK, what are you going to tell me? There was four of them. There was four of them what? Devon, Jeddah, Paul, and there was someone else. OK, so if this someone else has got a name, then I can get you maybe... a hundred? And the top? Oh, I don't know his name. Well, then how do you know what you know, eh? Devon's girlfriend. Hang on, out of the four, who was with who? Paul was with Devon, and the other two tried to rob him. Forty quid. And the top? And the top. Bro, change of personnel. Trying to freak me out or something. Listen, we know there was a fourth person, OK? So who was it? Paul's trying to make some money for his mum, we know that too. He gave you a hundred quid. You got the skunk, bagged it up, sell it, and what? Split the profit? Is that how it was? You're the one telling the story, detective. Only Jeddah Atkins had other ideas. He and whoever decided to rob you, Devin, because you had the stash, didn't you? Has this got a punchline, lad? <laughs> Always. We were right about you as a witness, so we're offering you protection again. <laughs> I'm right, thanks. Safe, though. Jeddah Atkins has gone underground. Be careful, Devin. You were at the appeal. You ever think about what you'd want, yeah? For what? To go on record. <laughs> Paul was certainly a popular lad. Judging by the amount of comments on his tribute page. I haven't got the internet. I haven't even got a computer. So you've not seen it? No. Bobby! Did I see you with an iPhone earlier? Yeah. Can I borrow it a sec? I want to show you on the uh, Paul's page. Ain't you seen it? No. Sure. I'll chuck it in. Thanks. Oh, this is great. Oh, well, Gonna miss your left foot and your bad jokes, bro. Please. Mm -hmm. Who did this? You start it up and people have what they want. That was his birthday. What's that one? Just gonna make it bigger. That's a 9mm automatic. Possibly the murder weapon. Where do we get this picture from? It's posted anonymously on the tribute site. Really? Mm. Well, thank you, Joe Public. Do you want me to get round Jeddah's, grab him when he turns up? Locate him, but don't pick him up. I want to talk to her first. That's Jasmine Harris. Devon Marshall's flat's been trashed. It started to break. Devon! Look at this, man! It messed up the whole yard! And it's in my car on fire, man! This is a message. Definitely. So who'd send you a message like this, Devon? The hell should I know? What, you didn't see anyone? I saw the car. When I went back, I saw the flat. Well, I think it's time you reconsidered our offer, Devon, don't you? You all right, girls? Do you want to buy this top? It's only a tenner. Oh, come on. Up your old tricks. Hey? Nicking stuff and flogging it. Give me that. You bought me this. Yeah? Where's the receipt? Mickey Webb's got it. No receipt, then I say you nicked it. <laughs> no way. Yes way. Where's Mickey? Stuff Mickey. You did him with me now. Empty your pockets. Come on, I ain't got all day. Suit yourself. What have we got in here? Up in there. 
What's this then, eh? Two bags? Right. You're under arrest for possession with intent to supply a controlled substance. Come this way. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. If you don't mention when questioned something you later rely on in court, anything you do say may be given in evidence. You should have played it straight, then I wouldn't have to do this. I way, don't then. know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. In you get. That's you? Right there. You said you never saw him with a gun. You lied, girl. What else you lied about? Huh? Can I see my file? No. I can't see my own file. It's not your file, Devon, it's ours. Okay, we can get you a council flat pretty much wherever you want. Make no trip to the Caribbean. Told you. So basically, I get nothing. I get what I got now. You get to see the people who put a gun in your face go to prison. That's what you get, Blad. I lose. I lose my rep and I lose my yard. You ain't got no goodie bag, OK? It's not how it works. What do you want? I ain't greedy enough. It's the principle. I got to end up with my nose in front, standard. Be realistic, yeah? What do you want, Devon? A dog. I've always wanted a staff bitch. You expect me to ask my DI for a dog? Yeah. You tell him I want a bitch puppy, and I'm gonna call it Banksy. We're not playing, Devon. This is about you doing the right thing for once in your life. Yeah, and that's what I want for it. I'll tell you what, I'll go and ask, shall I? Yeah, you do that, innit? A dog. That's what he's asked for. First a trip to the Caribbean and now a dog. Is he taking a mick? That's what he's asked for. We tell him no. Uh, just wait a minute. He's an eyewitness, right? It looks that way, Mum, yeah. And he'll tell us what he saw if we give him this. No, he says he will. Well, it's a no-brainer. Who cares if he's taking the mick? If a dog gets us the murderer, we give him the dog. OK, well, I think we can stretch to a dog. But not until after he's stood in the witness box. So. Right, well, you give us evidence, you get your dog. Now, what's your evidence? And the move, though. And the move. That's it, numb nuts. Negotiations over. What are you going to tell us? What did you see? Jeddah and his brethren come to Paul to buy a bag, innit? You were there. Yeah. Pretty much like you figured it still. Paul fronted the money. I came up with the weed. 50-50 on the sales. This is mine. They're buying a tent spot, right? And Paul's got a couple of bags. And the next thing I know, there's a gun in my face. Because you had the main stash? Nah, they asked Paul for that. I mean, I did have it, but they wanted me quiet. Only Paul don't play it quiet. Like, he goes off on one. Like, it's for his mum. They can't do this. Rare tear tear. So the dude put a gun on him. On Paul? Yeah. And he grabs it, and there's a shot. Just one? A two. I think he shot after me when I cut, and Paul drops. I legged it, boy. Who shot him? Bobby Sorrell. Yep. Dude shot his own cousin. Max, Devon Marshall gave us the fourth man. Who is it? It's the victim's cousin. He was at the scene this morning putting flowers down. Can you believe that? <laughs> and the dad. His dad had a body. So the dad's lying, and Devon is. I can tell you who they are. I saw them together. Yeah? It was Jeddah, Devon, and Bobby Sorrell. You don't have to pay me, but maybe just forget about the weed. Too late, Jasmine. On all counts. Thank you. Where's Mickey? Mickey can't help you. No one can. Are we acting on this information or what? 
This is usually the good bit, isn't it? You get to tell the family you know you've done it. I know. Just see if Bobby's there, if he is bringing DS Carter. What if he isn't? Come out and tell me. Can you arrest him outside? For the mum's sake? Sure. Banksy, you come in with me. Mickey, you stay outside with Joe in case we have a runner. Let's go. So, um, you know Jasmine Harris is in custody. Come again? DS Carter nicked her. What for? Possession with intent to supply. She had, like, two small bags. That is out of order. They've given us the OK to go and see Paul. My right to come in. Is Bobby about? He's in the lounge. Why? Let's go for it at the kitchen. Um, go for it at the kitchen. <laughs> A witness has come forward. And said what? Can we have a word, Bobby? Outside, so we don't disturb you, right? Um, Bobby was there when it happened. What's going on? I think you know. No, I don't. He hasn't done anything. You said it was you. He was. No. I got it wrong. What's going on? Where's the gun, Bobby? What? Right. You're under arrest for the murder of Paul Sol. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention when questioned something. I told you, he was home with me. Your account's been challenged, Mr. Sorrell. We have a witness. No, I can't have. Can I leave him with you to take back to the Nick? Sarge. Give me a hand here, Mickey. I told you, my son was home with me. Sarge, Mr. Sorrell, the F-Cart is going to want to talk to I'll get you a solicitor, do you understand? I said back inside, that's enough, Mr. Sorrell. I'll get you a solicitor. search the brother's house. Tell her that we'll interview and we'll promise to keep her up to speed. But if she says anything that I should know, you call me straight away. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Sorrell? Where'd he go? He's doing a runner. This is Theus Carter. What Gary Sorrell did for us, I want uniform net now. No red Mercedes? Uh, check it out, Cher. Yeah? All right. Hope you like his ear, Sarge. He's at work. Let's go. Ben, stay with the car. Nate, go round the back if he tries to escape. <laughs> Mr. Sorrel, what are you doing, mate? Just wait here. He told me it was an accident. What am I meant to do, eh? He's my son. Gary Sorrell, you're under arrest for possession of a firearm and assisting an offender. You don't have to say anything. I deny I was present at the scene of any murder or any shooting, and I further deny that I, at any time, had a firearm in my possession. On the night my cousin died, I was at home with my father continuously from 8.15 until we received the phone call telling us that Paul was dead. Prior to my arrest, I cooperated fully and voluntarily with the police. I held my cousin in the highest regard. 
or would not and did not harm him in any way. We have an eyewitness statement naming you as the person who shot Paul. No comment. Why would that witness lie? No comment. You know, we've arrested your dad. He started to talk. No. No, he said you'd say that. He really has, Bobby. Denying everything is not going to do you any good now. No comment. If it was an accident, if he didn't mean it, now's the time. No comment. Bobby, don't do this. Take your chance to explain. Nice work, Nicky. Which bit? Something on your mind? Yeah, Jasmine. I stepped into my office. Let's have it. Why'd you arrest her, eh? She lied to us. Yeah, but you don't nick someone for lying, do you? No, possession with intent. She had two small bags, and I'll bet you any money that she bought that with our money. We offered her a deal, and she screwed it up. Worse than that, she played you. Yeah, no, no, she yeah, didn't. She did. We took a 16-year-old girl, we pushed her to inform, and then we burned her. She knew all four names, Mickey, and she knew that Jada had a gun. But you, you weren't man enough to get it, were you? Right, so Devon Marshall gets a deal, and you nail that girl to the floor. Why is that? I do my deals with whoever delivers. Where you going? She was 16 years old. I don't know what your agenda is, but that girl withheld evidence on a murder. A murder. And don't you ever raise your hands against me again. Detective Constable. At four o'clock this afternoon, a 16-year-old male was arrested. A second male aged 22, was arrested shortly afterwards. Both suspects will be charged with the murder of 16-year-old Paul Sorrell, who was shot last night on the Copthorne estate. We've recovered a weapon, and a third male, aged 39, was arrested for assisting an offender and possession of a firearm. The bad news is another teenager has died on the streets of London. But the good news is, we've taken a gun off those streets, and we believe the people who supplied it, used it, and then tried to hide it. Jasmine, this wasn't my doing. Well, that's all right then. Look, we've arrested the offence. So why am I still here? You know why? For the weed. And I get a custodial for it with my previous. If you do, you get out, you keep your head down, you put it behind you, yeah? You lied to me. You lied to me too, Jasmine. But you're the police. OK, Jasmine, we're ready to charge you. We want to get Gresham in. You need to apologise to him. I'll be apologising for doing my job. What this comes down to is do you want to keep your job? Because I don't know whose side Smith is on. We've got missing child. How old? Four-year-old boy, name of Billy Sullivan. Sierra Oscar Wall. I think I've got something. Listen to me now. 